My amendment strengthens the Commodities Future Trading Commission's authority to go after manipulation and attempted manipulation in the swaps and commodities markets. It makes it unlawful to manipulate or attempt to manipulate the price of a swap or commodity using any manipulative device or contrivance. Now, some people might be thinking, why do we need legislation like that? Don't we already have something in place? Unfortunately, current law does not have enough protections for our consumers. And we have found in other areas that it is very important to have a strong, bright line, a law on the books against manipulation. We want the FTC to have strong tools to go after this kind of behavior. And this amendment is about protecting the integrity of markets for people who rely on them for business. Current law makes it very difficult for the Commodities Future Trading Commission to prosecute market manipulation. The CFTC has to prove that someone had specific intent to manipulate. And Mr. President, that is a very difficult standard to prove. Most individuals don't write an email, for example, saying that they have manipulated prices. But that is currently what the law requires the Commodities Future Trading Commission to prove. As a result of this, the federal courts recognize that the CFTC weaker manip anti manipulation standard has generally proven that the CFTC in court on these issues has not fared well. In fact, the law is so weak that in the CFTC's 35 year history, it has only had one successfully prosecuted case of market manipulation. And that case is currently on appeal in federal court. I'm going to say that again. In 35 years of its history, the CFTC has only successfully prosecuted one single case of manipulation. Mr. President, this language in this amendment is patent after law that the SEC uses to go after fraud and manipulation that there can be no manipulative devices or contrivances. It is a strong and clear legal standard that allows regulators to successfully go after reckless and manipulative behavior. And this legislation tracks in Securities Act the part of federal cases so that it is clear language identical to what is used in other statutes. And Congress has made sure that its intention is clear. In the 75 years since the enactment of the Securities and Exchange Act since of 1934, a substantial body of case law has developed over the last century around these words, around the words manipulative and uh, deceptive devices and contrivances. The Supreme Court has compared this body of law to a judicial oak, which has grown from little more than a legislative acorn. So it's worth noting that the courts have held this manipulation authority is not intended to catch sellers who take advantage of the natural market of supply and demand, only those who attempt to affect the market prices by artificial means unrelated to the natural forces of supply and demand. Mr. President, Congress granted this same anti-manipulation authority to the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission in 2005 as part of legislation in the Energy Policy Act. We did this as a result of Enron market manipulation. And I'm very proud of this legislation and its ban on manipulation in electricity and natural gas markets. I say that because it was a similar issue of deregulation that led to the federal regulators not doing their job. Since we have implemented this language in the electricity markets, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission since 2005 has used its authority to conduct 135 investigations. Of those 135 investigations, 41 have resulted in settlements involving civil penalties or, mo or monetary remedies of over $49 million. Two investigations, brought about enforcement actions against manipulation, one against Amranth for 200... The senator has used five minutes. 
I would ask for an additional one minute. Is there objection? Without objection, so ordered. These alleged, uh, the market manipulation against Enron was for a 291 million civil penalties and energy trading partners for 167 million in civil penalties. That is just an example of what a statute with teeth and a regulatory entity can do to actually stop manipulation when given that authority. So Mr. President, I hope my colleagues will support this strong anti-manipulation standard being inserted into the Commodities Future Trading Commission. It will truly put a policeman on the beat and stop the kind of manipulation that has just occurred in these commodities markets. I thank the President and I yield the floor.